Hello, it's time for another devlog. And this one I want to do about the battle system. So it's something that I haven't really talked that much about so far because the existing battle system that I had was kind of cobbled together from code that I had found online on the Lemasoft forums, um, which I had changed quite a lot. And because I had changed so many things about it, it kind of was, it was very janky. And anytime I would try and change something or add something, it would, the whole system would fall apart because I fundamentally did not understand how it worked. So um, that made it quite difficult because there was quite a lot of stuff that I wanted to change about it. The main piece of feedback that I got from the demo was that the battle system was too simple and that the battle UI was not very intuitive as well, which a couple of people have said, and I agree with. The main choice menu is in the bottom, let me think, bottom right. And then if you want to attack, there's three options. You can attack, you can heal, or you can just wait, which is, it just does nothing and it has no real tactical use. And if you want to do those, you have to click in the top left, so in the complete opposite corner, and it was just really weird, and um, I wanted to change that. Um, but then I ended up watching a tutorial on turn-based battles in Rempai specifically, uh, which was by Vimy. And it was a really good video that really clearly explains how to build a battle system from scratch. And so after watching that, I felt like I understood it a lot better. And so I basically just remade it from scratch. I realized that there was a lot of things that I could improve and um, add to it as well. So I'll be going over them in this video. The first thing that I changed is the UI. The UI is different. So the health bars and stuff are in the bottom right corner now. Yeah, so here. And um, they, it just felt more Final Fantasy. It's giving Final Fantasy and the whole thing has moved around so there's more space up top so the characters aren't being cut off by the, the text box anymore. The, the other thing that I didn't like about that battle system was that enemies had a bad habit of kicking players while they were down. Like they would attack characters who had already KO'd which was quite brutal. So they don't do that anymore. I was able to code that out so Yay! These battle sprites, I'm gonna redraw them. <laughs> the battle sprites look a bit sketchier than they used to because I want to redraw them but before I do it's just so many frames of animation that I want to know how much I actually will need to draw and what the positioning of the sprites is gonna be. So I just did these quick sketches in Blender and then kind of coded them into the right place. Oh yeah, also the battle menu is at the bottom now so it's uh, it's in the text box, so it takes up a lot less room, and uh, I think it's nice. It kind of reminds me of Pokemon. So there's still a, an attack. It used to be called dance, but now it's just called attack, because to be honest, they don't really dance as much anymore. They do physically attack their enemies, um, because I thought it was more exciting, and... To be honest, I do want it to be a bit like an RPG where they're hitting their enemies. And if you've ever been doing a performance, or if you've ever seen Black Swan, then... Attack it! Attack it! Come on! You know that dance is a battle. And when you're on stage, you're fighting for your life. Mia and Noah, they they work a little bit differently from each other. So Noah's a dancer, so he has higher attack and he can use dance techniques to attack. So he has like a high kick attack that is kind of a guaranteed crit. Um, whereas Mia is a vocalist, so she can use her voice to cast magic so she's more like a magic user and she has higher magic attack and um, so she can do like a fire attack and she can also heal and I'm really excited about the magic <laughs> I just wanted to add magic even though it doesn't really make that much sense in this world 
but magic and techniques both use up MP, which you can see in the bottom right as well. Um, oh, also there's elemental types now. So there's normal, uh, and there's hot, which is like fire, cool, which is basically water, and then fresh, which is like air, kind of, or grass. So when you hit, uh, again, this is like Pokemon, it's when you hit a fire type with a, a water move, then they're weak to it. But if you hit a grass type, then they're resistant. Um, it's basically like Pokemon meets Black Swan. Attack it! Attack it! Come on! Which is the crossover absolutely nobody asked for, but uh, here it is. I hope you like it. Um, so what else is happening? Oh yeah, there's items now. So they can use like healing items and stuff. Um, and there's a system that I, I haven't actually named it yet. And I don't really know what it's going to look like, but I realized because, because the battle loop is basically just a bunch of bars going down, like when they get hit, their bar goes down. When they use an attack or a magic attack, their MP goes down. Um, I realized that I could just reverse that and it would make it like a, a system like a limit break from Final Fantasy or like the trans system in Final Fantasy IX. So basically every time they get hit they get one trans point or what is, is what I'm calling it and then this gauge goes up and when the gauge is full then they can do a special attack. I'm also thinking about different enemy types like there will be a couple of different types of enemies, I think, and there will be a few different battle locations. So it's not just limited to a dance studio you can battle in the hallway, or maybe outside, or in the, the different rooms in Epona Garden, I think. When the battle's over, they do like this little kind of victory pose, and then it goes to the results screen. And so if they get enough experience points, then they level up. And I really enjoyed doing this actually, like making these little menu portraits was so, it's so Final Fantasy. I just love Final Fantasy, so I'm kind of like, even though this is a visual novel, I kind of do want it to have a little bit of Final Fantasy vibe when it comes to the battles. So I, yeah, I really enjoyed it. But yeah, I think I would have had a much harder time doing this if I hadn't watched Vimy's tutorial, so. It's on his channel, which is like visual novel design. So I would definitely recommend checking it out if you, um, if you're making a visual novel and you're interested in doing turn-based battles. Or he's got loads of videos and they're all really good. So definitely check it out. So that was a weird thumbs up. <laughs> I hope that all of these things make it feel a little bit less simple and a little bit less repetitive. Maybe it it maybe doesn't look much better <laughs> yet but it definitely feels better to play i think yeah thanks for watching my devlog and uh thanks to everybody that commented on all the other two devlogs should i do that youtuber thing where they're like i'm not gonna do that i'm not doing that anyway bye